first step, like many of our In the Hoop projects, is to hoop your stabilizer and run the placement step. I've got a fun little assistant here today with me, Max. Hello. He is home from school from the snow today, so he's going to help me by pushing the buttons because he's really great at that. Max, you want to hit lock and go and make sure that reserve stop button is checked as well. Perfect. So this is just going to be the placement for your key bell. This is just like pretty much every other In The Hoop project that we do. The next step for your key bell will be whatever goes on the front of your pattern. You need to consult the PDF step list in your folder to see what those details are. For the one I'm stitching right now in this sample, I'm using the honeycomb and bee pattern. Maxie, you want to lock and go for me? And hit reserve stop please. Reserve stop please. Thank you. Maybe. Alright, I just finished the pattern on the front of my key bell. For my sample, I'm doing the honeycomb and bee design. The next step is going to be something that's familiar to you if you do a lot of in the hoop projects. That is something of a top stitching or like a detail stitching before you put the backing onto your project. So Max, you want to hit the lock and go buttons for me? Lock. And hit reserve stop for me too, please. Ready? Okay, the final step is something we're very familiar with in our In the Hoop projects. You're going to remove your hoop and take a look at the back. Oh, we got a little hanger on right there. Hold, please. Doop. Doop. Okay. You're going to grab your second piece of vinyl felt leather, whatever you're using. You're going to place it wrong side against your stabilizer to cover everything you've stitched so far. And you're going to tape this down or you can pin it. What I recommend if you're using pins is to pin from the front of your hoop. That way you don't have sharp pointies down here near the bobbin or the arm of your machine. So I'm taking my pin from the front and I am out of the stitch path. I'm usually a little quicker with this, but I'm trying to do it in a good angle for the camera. <laughs> Okay, so we pin from the front. I'm going to pin at two corners. That'll just keep it steady. Okay, that one's actually a little sloppy. Let's redo that one. And then I'm going to replace my hoop, and you run the final steps. The last step is just going to seal up the sides of your key bell with the front and the back of your design. When the last step is finished, you can remove your pins and remove your project from the hoop, take it to your desk or cutting space, and we're going to trim around our design. Okay, the final step, you've unhooped your project, and now you're going to trim around your project. Very easy. Just give yourself whatever edge you usually give yourself when you're trimming on projects, maybe an eighth of an inch. And there you have it. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. There it is. <laughs> yeah.